The Diggers by Margaret Wise Brown Illustrated by Daniel Kirk Dig, dig, dig. A mole was digging a hole. Dig, dig, dig. A dog was digging a hole under a stone to bury a bone. Dig, 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 dig. A worm was digging a hole. He swallowed the ground as he wiggled around and ate his way toward home. Dig, 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 dig. A rabbit was digging a hole. Next to a mouse who was digging a house in a little warm hole in the ground. Dig, 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 dig. A pirate was digging a hole. A hole in the sand to bury his gold and the diamonds and rubies he stole. Dig, 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 dig. In the city, a man was digging a hole. Monday he dug, and Tuesday he dug, and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday he dug, and Saturday he dug until he said, I feel like a mouse or a mole. This hole is too little. This hole must get bigger and bigger and bigger, as big as a giant could dig if he were a digger. And then came the big digger, made by a man to dig deeper and deeper, to crunch up stones and dinosaur bones and cavemen's homes and buried gnomes. Dig, 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 down the dead end street. The steam shovel, the steam shovel dug its way. Day after day after day after day it dug until the whole city street was dug away. Its great jaws crunched full of dirt and rocks. Its great arm lifted, paused, and swung the world it had dug up and put it somewhere else in the world. And a great big hole ran under the city and under a river and into a great, bright, green country. A man put a train in the hole, and the train ran through the hole, under the city, under the river, until it popped out of the hole into the bright green country. It went past ducks and geese and donkeys and cows and sheep and fields of galloping horses until it came to a mountain and it couldn't get through and it couldn't get over and it couldn't go around, so it had to stop. But not forever. For down the track came another train with another man and tanks of oil and gasoline. And there on the last car rode the great digger, the steam shovel. Under the mountain it dug away, day after day after day after day, until with one last bite, it came to daylight on the other side of the mountain. And soon the train came through the mountain and onto the great green plain. And on went the train, and on and on down its long, sleek track, 
and the smoke trailed back. That was easy, said the steam shovel. I'll dig a hole to China someday.